everyone. This afternoon, the hay grinder is here and Clint is putting hay bales in the hay grinder to make our hay pile for the year. The guy's here, I don't know his name. Um, he's in the tractor right now, riding with Clint. And I have the knife and I'm cutting off net wrap. So I just hold it like that and it comes off. Net wrap is awesome for, for preserving our bale qualities. So when it rains after Clint puts the hay bale up, um, the bale doesn't get wet and it helps protect from snow. But whenever we feed a round bale, we cut the plastic net wrap off because we don't want our cows to have this in their stomachs. It's really easy to take off and it's really quick. The machine is called a hay buster. Jack's taking over. Done. Like I washed my windows today over my lunch period. Uh, Clint's doing a lot of fall projects, or it's winter now, it's December. He's doing a lot of winter projects. They got a ton of fence up. Um, we have all the hay home, as you can see. There's a ton of hay here. It's like a hay fort. right now ever according to Jack it's almost like a fire hazard um if it all started on fire we'd be screwed Clint did put about three semi loads somewhere else so in the event we need it um we shouldn't need it because we haven't even started feeding hay bales yet which is awesome if you remember last year we got snow in like October and we started feeding corn silage and hay bales in October last year and we have like 300 more bales than we have last year so we'll be fine we'll have tons of hay uh, this is the last bail, so let's watch it ride. Tell us what we're looking at, Clint since you are the hay freak? <laughs> it's a mixture of German hay millet and uh, third, fourth, first, second cutting alfalfa. Um, basically anything that was a little too dry for me that's gonna fall apart in the bale feeder or the bale processor is just gonna be turning dust. We grind it up and make such a fine ration. So you literally see here, it's just powder. Wow. I mean, it is dust and then the millet, um, it doesn't even really come out that stemmy. The mill, it's really stemmy stuff and it it just comes out like a, a filler. So oh, this will get so mixed green. in with the corn silage and it'll be a corn silage and uh, a little 
a little bump with the protein and the alfalfa and then a little filler to keep things from getting too hot in the cattle stomach with that uh, millet keeps them keeps them tight and you can see here so like you can see where kind of like the millet bale so a lot of the alfalfa the last alfalfa bale is a fourth cutting so this stuff was like 230 rfv it's way too rich to feed the beef cows but if we mix it in with this over here where you can see just kind of like just the pure hay millet if we mix it in more of this filler um it'll blend off and not be so hot on the cattle stomach is it fair to say the millet is lower quality oh the millet's like it's it's like just eating bread with no jelly with no peanut butter it's just so then if you mix plain. them then it's okay for yeah. the beef cows to eat so then the, the alfalfa is like your like your, your peanut butter and jelly on there it's the good stuff so we mix them together and make a green and you can see that the show on the yeah, camera yeah it does it's like look, green and gold transition yeah it's, it's gold kinda, and then it's green it's kind of what we're mixing the goal is and then i i filtered it all the way through so i was doing two alfalfa bales to every millet and i was mixing them yeah so it's like a whopper <laughs> i prefer big mac big mac yeah yeah sorry big mac whopper whatever i've Remember never had a whopper this is just pure fine i feel like this will be a deer trap oh yeah i mean this is oh. basically summarized that you can see the the gold and the green well, dust i mean that's all so fine. fine looks like flowers that's I mean, how fine he's like... grinding it wow Cool. I've never seen that myself. before, so that was fun to see. That should be enough um, feed for us to get through. Probably we'll have to grind sometime again by middle or end of February. So. Well, and especially since we haven't fed anything. <laughs> no, we haven't fed anything yet. So actually, it'll probably get us to the beginning of March. This pile will get. I forget it's already middle of December. So this will get us through. Yeah, easy, easy eight weeks. Yeah. So. All right. See you guys.